Now it's time to learn about the object properties. And so what I need to do is, just to start off, I'm going to come to my desktop, and I'm just going to choose the freehand shape tool, and I'll just try and draw some sort of a embroidery object. It really doesn't matter what it is. But I'm going to make sure that I have a, a closed shape so that we can see that with a closed shape, we have a piece of red fill, and it has blue outline. And I can also confirm that just by selecting the shape and then looking at the bottom to see that I have red fill selected and blue outline selected. So the object properties is this box that's over here on the right hand side. And you can see that it has tabs and one tab is for the fill and the other tab is for the outline. And so this is how we're going to be able to control the type of stitching that are in our embroidery objects. And so, yeah, I'll build upon this. Perhaps in this first segment, I'll just review the general things that we're going to learn about, and then I'll come back with a series of segments to explain in more detail each of those topics. So, basically, this is the fill tab, and you can see here that we could choose the type of stitch from the first option box here. And right now it's just set for auto, which means the, the software has automatically chosen for us the type of fill stitch. Now, if you want to override it, you can change it between you know, step or satin just by clicking on the different options. And we'll come back and review those more in a minute. But we also have the ability to choose from styles and patterns. We'll talk about removing the overlaps when you have multiple objects that are touching or overlapping each other and we have a, the ability to override the sequence control and, and sort of change that ourselves. And then this tells us about the density, the compensation, and the underlay that's been used. And I'll talk about how we can affect those settings as well. Now if we switch over to the pen tab, we have a very similar set of settings. Um, the type of stitch we've got, first of all, it's automatically being um, generated by the software. We could take control of that if we wanted to. Um, we can choose between the satin stitch and the running stitch options and we have the ability to choose from a set of styles for the type of running stitch that we're going to get and again we have remove overlaps the sequence and things like the stitch length so on these you're going to find that these options below will change depending on what option you choose at the top so for example if I choose satin serial up top I get a different set of um, options that I can control down below. So in general that's how it works and so what I'll do is just come back with a series of segments that goes and builds upon this concept that we have the ability to control the way the stitching is by using our object properties box.